University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. With two rounds of quarterfinals played, the fate of four teams remains to be decided. All have won one quarterfinal and lost another. They now have one last chance to win again and advance to the semi-finals. If they lose again, however, their journey in this year's competition is over. Curtains. Finito. Finished. The team from Durham University began their competition with an impressive win over semi-finalist Bristol and then beat Bangor in round two and Southampton in their first quarter-final. In their second, however, with a win under their belts and the semi-finals within reach, they got a bit trigger-happy with Royal Holloway, the beneficiaries of their five incorrect interruptions. With an average score per game of 175 and an average age of 21, Let's meet the Durham team for the fifth time. Hi, my name's Harry Scully. I'm from Welling Garden City in Hertfordshire and I study physics and chemistry. Hi, my name's Chloe Margot. I'm from Harringay, North London, and I study sociology. This is their captain. Hi, I'm Alex Radcliffe. I'm from Edinburgh and I'm studying maths. Hi, my name's Bea Bennett. I'm from Ickham in Gloucestershire and I'm reading English. Well, now, after scraping past the universities of Sheffield and Newcastle in rounds one and two, the team from University College London seem to have found their rhythm in the quarterfinals, opening their account with a convincing win over Jesus College Cambridge. In their second quarterfinal, however, the University of Bristol kept them comfortably at arm's length from start to finish. Their average score so far is 155. Their average age is 41. Let's meet the UCL team again. Hello, I'm Rachel Collier. I live in West London and I'm studying for a PhD in the history of ancient Greek. Hi, I'm Michael Fleetwood Walker. I'm from the West Midlands and I'm doing an MSc in Urban Studies. This is their captain. Hello, I'm James Salmon. I'm originally from Bristol and I'm studying for a Master's in Planetary Science. Hi, I'm Louis Collier. I'm from London and I'm studying a PGCE specialising in Maths and Physics. <laughs> OK, you all know the rules, so we'll just crack on with it then. Fingers on the buzzers, here's your first start of a ten. With the binomial Marmotta monax, what member of the squirrel family is one of the largest mammalian species to exhibit obligate deep hibernation? A popular folk tradition associated... Uh, UCL El Collier. Groundhog. Groundhog is correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses this time on unusual buildings in Wales. Which estuary town in North Wales is home to a building known as the smallest house in Great Britain? A castle built by Edward I stands nearby. Conway, Carnarvon. Conwell, Carnarvon. Harnick. Hmm? Harnick. Oh, I like that more. OK, shall we go Harnick? Harnick. Yeah. Harnick. No, it's Conway. Which town in the historic county of Monmouthshire is the location of an ornate shell grotto built as a summer house for the Hanbury family? This town is one of several whose name begins with the Welsh word for bridge. Ponty. Ponty. Well, Ponty. Is that going to be the Welsh word? Yeah, it is. Yep. And okay. so which county? Monmouthshire. OK. Monmouthshire. No, no, no. no, no, no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. the answer you've given. And I beg your pardon. It was wrong. Oh. Ponty Pool is the answer. Okay. Built of rough boulders, the building known as the Ugly House is owned by a society designated to conservation in which national park? Oh, that's Snowdonia. Sounds good. Okay. Snowdonia. Correct. Well done. <laughs> Ten points for this. In the 2010s, winners of what prestigious award included Charlotte Proger... Durham Scully. The Turner Prize. The Turner Prize is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on historical conflicts in board games. In the words of the online forum and database Board Game Geek. <laughs> Name the game from the description. Firstly... During the war phase, the players are us versus them. During the political phase, it is me versus you. Athenian faction versus Athenian faction and Spartan king versus Spartan king. The game shares its name with an Athenian leader. I don't know this. Do you know any Athenian Spartan leaders? No, Athenian leaders. Athenian, Athenian leaders. leaders. Do we know it? Is about, isn't the... No, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we don't know how they think so. Right, pass. It's Pericles. <laughs> Defend or depose the Toyotomi heir by commanding the loyalty of the feudal lords. This game shares its name with the major battle of 1600. 
So it's probably a battle in Japan. Does anyone know any? No. Do you pass? Yes. Yes, go. Pass. Seki Gahara is the answer. And finally, play as one of four factions vying for control of the island. This 2013 game is based on Fidel Castro's insurgency of the late 1950s. I need a two-word title, which is also that of a popular cocktail. Oh, mm. Cuba Libre or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Makes, sense. Makes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Cuba Libre? Cuba Libre nice. is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> what large wading bird appears in the title of a 2019 verse novel by Dean Atter about a black gay teen reclaiming his identity as a drag artist? In Alice in Wonderland, these birds are used as implements in a game of... UCL El Collier. Flamingo. Flamingo is correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses this time on the works of the Bronte sisters. In each case, identify the novel from its characters. I need the title and author in each case. Firstly, Gilbert Markham, Helen Graham and Arthur Huntingdon. Remember, I need the title and the author. Um... Talent of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte. Okay. Okay. Nominate Rachel. Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte. Correct. Secondly, Nellie Dean, Hareton Earnshaw and Isabella Linton. Again, I need both the title and the author. It's, it's Nellie Dean, Jane Eyre. OK. I don't know. But... Might be wrong. I, don't, I was going to go for something more obscure, like Viet by Jane Eyre. Nominate Rachel. Viet by Jane Eyre. Well, it's Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. Oh, sorry, <laughs> And finally, John Reed, Bertha Mason and St. John Rivers. Title and author, please. It's Jane Eyre, That's Charlotte Jane Bronte. Eyre. That's Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Nominate Rachel. That is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. It is, well done. <laughs> We're going to take a picture around now. For your picture starter, you're going to see a map with an area highlighted in red, with a specific language being the mother tongue there for the majority. For ten points, I want you to name the language. Durham Redcliffe. Balinese. No, you mean Muslim. You see, old Fleetwood Walker. Javanese. Javanese is correct, yes. <laughs> it's spoken by nearly 70 million people there. The Javanese language has no official status at any national or regional level. For your picture bonuses, you're going to see maps showing the area in which specific languages spoken by many millions of speakers dominate, but which have no official status at any national level. Five points for each you can identify. Firstly, this language with around 20 million speakers. Oh, that's the southern Philippines one, which is... Um, is it Tagalog? Is no. It, no. no. Um, Mindanese. Mi Mindanese. Yeah, Mindanao. Mindanese. Nominate Michael. Mindanese. No, it's Cebuano. Secondly, this group of closely related varieties with approximately 80 million speakers. That's the one... Um, I think it might be Wu. Nominate Michael. Wu? Who is correct? Yes. And finally, this language with between 40 and 50 million speakers with limited regional status. Mm. So that's North Nigeria and Southern Mali. Is it Yoruba? Not no, that's Nigeria. Nigeria. That's Hauser. South Nigeria. Yeah. Um, not Hausa. Um, it might be. I could don't be Hausa. Shall we try it? I Let's don't know anything it. else. A bit, bit south. OK, Hausa. It is Hausa. Well done. <laughs> Ten points for this. In chemistry, what term denotes the process of determining the proportions of compounds or elements in a given reaction? Durham Scully. Stoichiometry. Stoichiometry is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on mammalian cell culture, a solution of which enzyme is commonly used to dissociate cells from cell culture vessels before passaging. This enzyme is also used to digest proteins prior to mass spectrometry. Ooh, I don't know that. Pro protease? Mm. I don't know. Protease? Yeah, I go for that. Protease? No, it's trypsin. Which Italian Nobel laureate gives his name to common preparations of modified Eagle's medium and phosphate buffered saline used in mammalian cell culture? Italian. Golgi is Italian. Sure. Yeah. Golgi? No, it's Dulbeco. Phenol red is a common addition to both trypsin and culture media. This serves as an indicator for what property of the solution? A proxy for contamination. pH or something? Acidity? Yeah, yeah. yeah acidity, yeah. Acidity? Yes, acidity or pH, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. Composed of self-assembling protein subunits, the capsid 
is the protective shell enclosing the genetic ah. material... Use hill salmon. A virus. Virus is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on quantum physics. Can quantum mechanical description of physical reality be considered complete? This is the title of a 1935 paper, often known by what three letters? The initial letters of the surnames of its authors. EPR. Nominate. <laughs> EPR. EPR is correct. Einstein, Podolsky and Rosen. In the 1964 response to the EPR paper, which Belfast-born physicist formed an inequality to test whether quantum theory was locally complete? It's Bell. Nominate, Louis. Bell. Bell is correct. A 1982 test with polarised photons showed a correlation between quantum states even when the photons were far apart. How is this connection known? Entanglement. Mm -hmm. Must be yep. Nominate Louis. Entanglement. Entanglement is correct. Ten points for you. In an 18th century novel, which character discovers articles of impeachment against him that include the charge that he maliciously, traitorously and devilishly by the discharge of his urine, put out a fire. The same article refers to him as Quinbus Flestrin, the great man mountain. Durham Scully. John Bunyan. No. Ah. Use Hill Salmon. Gulliver. Lemuel Gulliver is correct, yes. <laughs> right, your bonuses are on the US author and activist Bell Hooks. Give the single word that completes the title of Bell Hooks' 1984 critique of the privilege inherent in second-wave feminism. Feminist theory from margin to what? Centre, probably. Sounds reasonable. Centre? Yeah. 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 Nominate Michael. Centre? Centre is correct. Subtitled New Visions, which book discuss modern romance and the relation between affection in both private and public lives? I've read an excerpt from this book and I don't know the title. I haven't heard of it. No. Can we guess? Um, she's quite into... Uh, what's the word on that? Intersectionality, maybe? Try that. Um, sexuality. No, it's all about love. Subtitle Black Women and Feminism, which 1981 work shares its title with a speech by the 19th century reformer Sojourner Truth? I don't know. No. On Liberation? On liberation. It's Ain't I a Woman. For your music starter, you'll hear an excerpt from an opera. For ten points, name its Italian composer. Durham Scully. Ferdy. No. You can hear a little more, though, UCL. R. Collier. Puccini? No, it's Donizetti. So, music bonuses in a moment or two when someone gets to start a question correctly. What is the sum of the natural numbers from 1 to 100? Durham Redcliffe. Uh, 5050. 5, 5050 5, is correct, yes. Well done. <laughs> you just heard an excerpt from Donizetti's opera Lucia di Lammermoor which was based on Walter Scott's novel, The Bride of Lammermoor. For your music bonuses, you're going to hear three more operas that were based on literary works. For five points each, I'd like you to identify the authors of the works on which the following operas were based. Firstly, this British author... I don't think it, that's definitely not the Fairy Queen. Um, British author. Faust. 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 Christopher Marlowe. Yeah, I guess that, yeah. I don't know, it could be. Yeah. Marlowe? No, it's John Bunyan. Oh, okay, sorry. Secondly. Alexander Pope? 
No, it was Melville, Herman Melville. That was Britain's version of Billy Budd Sailor. And finally, the French author of the novel on which this is based. This is, this is Alexander Dumas. Is so, it? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's La Traviata, it's Alexander Dumas. Are you sure that's yeah. Not, yeah, yeah. not good to hear, Kurt? No, it's definitely Alexander, okay, Alexander Dumas. Uh, Dumas? That's correct. Well done. <laughs> Ten points for this starter question. What two letters begin Spanish words meaning to curse, to kill, apple... Durham Recliffe. M-A. M-A is correct. <laughs> you get three bonuses on endurance races. In 2017, Courtney DeWalter won the Moab 240-mile endurance run by more than 10 hours. Its course includes areas of the Canyonlands and Arches National Parks. In which U.S. state? Maybe, like, Nevada? Arches, yeah, what? it's... it's... It... It might be Colorado or something. It's, I'm happy it's to go one of the desert I'm ones. happy Colorado, if you want to yeah. Colorado. Colorado? No, it's Utah. It's okay. In 2019, Fiona Kolbinger of Germany became the first woman to win the transcontinental cycle race across Europe. The course ran from the Black Sea to which naval base southwest of Roscoff in Brittany? Uh, I don't know. Not, but not in, not in Brittany. Not um, in Brittany. Rennes? Van? Ren is not a port. Van? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Van? No, it's Brest. Okay. Also in 2019, Jasmine Paris of Midlothian set a new record for the Montaigne Spine Race along the 268 miles of which UK national trail? It runs from Edel to Kirk Yetham. Where is Edel? Where... Sounds like New Yorkshire or something. Pennine Way? Could it be yeah. Pennine Way? Oh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, sure. Pennine Way? Pennine Way nice. is correct. Ten points for this. Serving as a signal for targeted degradation, which small protein is commonly added to other proteins as a post-transnational modification in three steps by the E1, E2 and E3 ligase class of enzymes? Its name comes from its widespread presence across uh, different... UCL salmon. Ubiquitin. Ubiquitin is correct, yes. Well done. <laughs> These bonuses are on a writer. Wise Blood and The Violent Bear It Away are novels by which US writer better known for her short stories? She died in 1964 at the age of 39. Oh, young. Short... Who did Carson McCullers is ringing bells. OK. I've got... No, I don't know. It's just ringing well, bells. I... OK. Go for it. Carson McCullers. No, it's Flannery O'Connor. Which story by O'Connor concerns the murder of a family by an escaped convict who calls himself the misfit? I need the precise title, which is taken from a blues standard by Eddie Green. Got no idea. I have uh, no, no idea at all. No idea at all. No. Um, no. Can we guess? I think it's a pass. It's a pass, I'm afraid. It's a good man is hard to find. Taken from a work by Pierre Théard de Chardin, what single word completes the title of O'Connor's second collection of short stories, Everything That Rises Must What? Something of man, isn't it? Die. End? Fall? I'd say fall. Well, let's just say fall. OK, what are we going for? Fall. 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 Mm. Nominate Michael. Fall. No, it's converge. Mm. Ten points for this. Often shown being held by gods and pharaohs, what ancient Egyptian hieroglyph symbolises life? UCL El Collier. Ank. Ank is correct. <laughs> you get these bonuses on eponymous anatomical features. Name each feature described. Firstly, an organelle found in eukaryotic cells responsible for transporting proteins. It is named after an Italian biologist yeah, celebrated for his research into the nervous system. The Golgi. Golgi apparatus, correct. A part or area of the cerebral cortex associated with the comprehension of written and spoken language. It is named after a German physician who researched encephalopathy and aphasia. I think it's Broca's area. I think it might be... Is it Broca? Broca's speech. He's Italian. So, yeah. OK. Wernicke. Wernicke is correct. And finally, the largest tendon in the body, named after a figure in Greek mythology. Nominate Rachel. The Achilles tendon. Correct. <laughs> We're going to take a picture around for you. A picture start, you'll see a painting. Ten points if you can give me its title. Durham Bennett. Olympia. Olympia is correct. Well done. In 2019, the Musée d'Orsay in Paris held an exhibition of paintings focusing on previously unnamed black models. 
including Manny's Olympia, retitled Lore for the exhibition. For your bonuses, you're going to have to identify three more paintings from that exhibition. In each case, I simply need the name of the artist. First, the painter of this portrait, retitled Study of the Model Joseph. Um, Any ideas? Wyeth. Yeah. Wyeth? No, that's Jericho. Yeah. Secondly, the painter of this portrait, retitled Portrait of Madeleine. Ooh. It's not um, like Delacroix or something, is it? It doesn't look like... No. Oh, maybe oh, David? No. I'd go with David, yeah. yeah. David? No, it was Beno East. Okay. And finally... That's Rousseau. That's Rousseau, yeah. yeah. Rousseau. It is Rousseau. Only Rousseau. <laughs> Ten points for this. In physics, 1947 saw the first observation of examples of what family of mesons. These particles gave evidence for the existence of... You sell salmon. The pi mesons. No, you lose five points. The existence of a second generation of quarks with the introduction of the concept of strangeness. Durham Scully. Kaons. Kaons is correct. Or K mesons. Yes, well done. You get three questions on UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Iran. The capital of East Azerbaijan province. Which major city did UNESCO inscribe for its historic bazaar complex, significant from the 12th century? I don't know. Shiraz? Yeah. yeah. Shiraz? No, it's Tabriz. Dating to the 17th century, the public square, sometimes known as the image of the world, is in which city located on the main north-south roads between Tehran and Shiraz? Oh, it won't be Shiraz then. Uh, anyone know any others? I don't know. Pass. It's Isfahan. Finally, southeast of Isfahan, Pasargade was the first dynastic capital of which empire founded by Cyrus the Great in the 6th century yeah, BC? The Achaemenids? Yeah. Achaemenids? Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Who, according to Pablo Picasso, is really only another artist? He invented the giraffe, the elephant, and the cat. He has no real style. He just goes on trying other things. You see old Fleetwood Walker? God. God is correct, yes. <laughs> you get three bonuses on the artist Leonora Carrington. Born in Lancashire in 1917, Carrington is most closely associated with which artistic movement? Her paintings include the Inn of the Dawn Horse and the Hour of the Angelus. I don't... No, not kind of. Could it be vorticists? That's a long one. Go for it. Any ideas? Any more? No. Okay. The vorticists. That's surrealism. With which German surrealist did Carrington form a close collaboration in the late 1930s? He later married Peggy Guggenheim. Oh, I feel like I should know this, but I really don't. German surrealists. German surrealists. Not clay, not. No, not clay. Um... Come on, let's have it, please. Okay, clay. It's Max Ernst. In which Latin American country did Carrington live for most of her adult life, dying there in 2011? Going Argentina for some reason, I don't know okay. why. Go for it. Argentina. No, it's Mexico. Ten points for this. If Northanger Abbey is gold and Anne of Green Gables is molybdenum, what element is Lolita in the context of each author's surname? Durham Bennett. Sodium. Sodium is correct. <laughs> I couldn't believe it was so easy. <laughs> Three questions on world currencies for your bonuses. Unusual in that it's subdivided into units of five rather than 100, the Ari Ari superseded the franc as the currency of which island country? Mauritius. Or or something. Go for the country. country. Yeah. Yeah. Mauritius. No, it's Madagascar. Nah. In various spellings, what name is given to the main currency unit of countries including Oman, Yemen, Saudi Arabia and Iran? Is it dinar or something? I don't know. Yeah, just, just yeah. Dinar? That's the real. What name is shared by the currency units that are divided into a thousand fills in Iraq, a thousand dirhams in Libya, and a thousand millims in Tunisia? Any idea? Do you want to go, what was it, dinar before? They said that. Uh, dinar. Dinar is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. What specific valediction appears in all of these titles? A 1929 autobiography by Robert Graves. A 1939... Durham Scully. Goodbye. Goodbye is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on Jacinda Ardern, who was elected yeah. Prime Minister of New Zealand in 2017. 
Jacinda Ardern is a graduate of Wachee University, founded in 1964. Auckland. It shares its name with the River and Regional Council, located in the southeast of Auckland. Oh, is it um, Canterbury? Canterbury? Oh, Canterbury, yeah, yeah. Canterbury. Canterbury. That's Waikato. Oh, don't worry. In the early 2000s, Ardern worked on the staff of which Labour politician, the second woman to become Prime Minister of New Zealand? I have no idea. What's her name? Pass. 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 Helen Clark was the person I was looking for. In 2020, Ardern won a landslide election victory. What centre-right party was her main opposition? What are they called? Con Conservative, I don't know. Conservatives? No, they were the National Party. Ten points for this. El Paso and Juarez. Lareda and Nuevo Laredo. Brownsville and Matamoros. All New Zealand Fleetwood Walker. Towns on either side of the Mexican-USA border. No. You lose five points. On opposite sides of which river? Durham Redcliffe, Rio Grande. Yes. Rio Grande is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on marine organisms. In each case, identify the organism described. All three answers begin with the word C. Firstly, an echinoderm with radial pores that accommodate tubes. Sea, urch sea urchin. Sea urchin is correct. A sedentary marine animal of the order Actinaria. They often occur in striking colours and are flower like in form. Anemone? anemone? Oh, yeah. sea anemone. Or yeah. Sea anemone. Yeah, good. Yeah. Anemone? Sea anemone? Correct. And finally, Ulva lactuca, an edible seaweed whose thallus resembles a commercially sea grown cucumber? leafy terrestrial plant. Sea cucumber? That would make Cabbage sense. or sea lettuce is one of those sea things. Sea lettuce. Oh, there is that. that. Do you want to go sea, sea lettuce, lettuce instead? Uh, sea lettuce? Sea lettuce is correct. Ten points for this. Used in statements of battery capacity. The abbreviation lowercase m, uppercase a, lowercase h. Miller amps hour. It is. That's correct. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on words that begin with the same three letters. In each case, give the word from the definition. Firstly, a brand name for a means of fastening clothes or other items Invented by the Swiss engineer okay. Georges de Mestral. So. Its name comes from the French for hooked velvet. Yes, yeah, Velcro. Yeah. That's what Velcro is, yeah. Velcro. Velcro is correct. <laughs> Secondly, yeah. a fine kind of parchment, usually made from calf skin. Um, vel vellum. 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 Yeah, yeah. Vellum. V vellum. Correct. Finally, a directive to a musician to perform with great rapidity. Uh, ve ve uh, ve uh, <laughs> You'll, you... ve, 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 ve... I can't think of it. Something velo. Velo. Velando. Velismo. I don't know. Velismo. Just Come on. Velo. No, that won't do. It's veloce. Okay. Ten points for this. Which capital city is the site of the Roman settlement of Aquincum? Located ah. within... You sell salmon. Budapest. Budapest is correct. <laughs> These are a set of bonuses on areas of outstanding natural beauty, or ANOBs, in Northern Ireland. Named after a geological formation, Causeway the Coast. Ring of Gullion, or... Causeway uh, Coast. Uh, yeah, just say it. Causeway Coast. Causeway Coast. No, it's wrong. It's Newry. The name of which county appears in the name of the ANOB that includes Rathlin Island and the coastal area between Larne and Ballycastle? Beg Michael. Antrim. Correct. Um. And that was wrong. You see I have 145, but Durham have 160. Well, you were coming back well at the end there, and at least you played the game in the spirit in which thank it's you. intended. <laughs> so thank you very much for joining us. And, Darren, we shall look forward to seeing you in the next stage of the competition. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. But until then, it's goodbye from UCL, University College London. Goodbye. goodbye. Thank you. It's goodbye from Durham University. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>